Let me. I, I, I look. I don't. I don't. I, I'm not gonna go as far as to say a man that you know makes a conscious decision to assume a stepfather role is a weak man. But like I, you know, I had I was live on my main page for 44 minutes with this same topic before they banned me last night because they didn't like what I was saying. But um, what I said last night is that um, I had to inform people. There was 300 some people in the room. Um, to, to the ladies, it's not a lot of people in here right now, but listen, um, uh, Kevin Samuels and this Manosphere space and these red pill guys, these are not the people that are telling like young men to, you know, not deal with single mothers. Um, it is their mothers. It is their grandmothers. It is their aunties. It is their godmothers. It's all the women that really love and care about them and their family. These are the people that are telling young men, do not deal with um, do not deal with um, uh, single mothers. Don't don't be don't assume the stepfather role. Don't possibly subject yourself to everything that can come along with that. Um, you know, if this if this woman has a daughter, um, you know, you don't want to be accused of doing something that you didn't do. You know, you don't want those accusations to hurt your life, to hurt your career. Um, it is it is it is the woman that love and care about these men that are telling them these things. And like I said last night, and I'm going to say this again, I want to hear what both of you have to say to what I'm about to say. Um, these, I, 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 What I've personally seen in my young life, I've only seen women that are actually single mothers and women that have daughters that are single mothers that, you know, they were being sexually irresponsible or they made, like, mistakes. These are the only group of women that I see, like, you know, jacking the whole being a stepfather thing. But what I also see is that these same women, they don't want their son, they don't want their brother, they don't want the men in their family that they love and care about to be, to assume a stepfather role. They don't want them dealing with certain certain type of women, but they want they want somebody else's son, they want somebody else's brother to be a sucker for them and or their daughter. That's what I honestly see. So I know you don't have children, Miss Tyree. I don't know about you, Mel Nader Judge, but Miss Tyree, was, if if, and I don't know if your brother has kids. I know you have a brother. I don't know if your brother has kids. Your brother, okay, your brother does have kids. Okay. But, and I don't know, I don't know if your brother got married. I don't know if he got all his kids with the same woman. But hypothetically, let's say your brother was childless and he came to you and your sister and he's like, oh, and I don't know, is, is your brother older than you or younger than you? Um, He's younger than me by five years. So he's getting ready to be 38. Okay. Your brother, your brother's a grown man. So, most people in his age range is probably going to have, uh, you know, as people get older, like men and women, most most people that, most people, it's going to be kind of hard to find somebody that don't got at least one kid. But Miss Tyree, your nephews, when your nephews get older, when your nephews go to college, if your nephew come home, yeah, Joe, I would love you to come up here because, you know, you and Miss Tyree in the same age range. Um, When your nephews get older, Miss Tyree, and he come home, and he bring he bring Jasmine home, and he introduced he introduced Jasmine to you, the whole family, and y'all all y'all all, all you know vet Jasmine. Y'all like oh, I rock with Jasmine, she cool. But when Jasmine leave, he say hey he say hey Auntie Tyree, and he say hey everybody. I didn't tell y'all this while she was here. I didn't tell y'all this beforehand, but Jasmine got two different Jasmine got two kids by two different men. Are y'all going to encourage? Are you going to encourage your nephew to that's childless and got a whole life ahead of him to pursue that situation out of love. If, if, if you have a son, are you going to, are you going to tell your son to be a stepfather? So I want, I want both of the ladies. I want both of y'all to speak on that. Starting with you, Miss Tyree. I guess for me, my opinion would be biased because that's literally how my stepfather came for me and my sister, because I have a twin, right? right, right. So when he met my mom, it was two of us, Right. And he got with my mom and he raised me and my sister. So I wouldn't go and tell him not to get with somebody who had already had two kids. You understand what I mean? Like, I would be more concerned about her as an individual and who and who she was and how she treated her children in, um, more than her having two kids, Right. That's that's but but that's just me. Like I said, right. I was raised by a stepfather. Like my family has always welcomed women who have had prior children into our family. Like my grandma and them 
and my mom and them, my auntie them, and them, they never set up and and told my uncle them not to raise another woman's children. Like that's just not who we were, right? That's that's not historically what we did. And my grandmother had six kids, and five of them were boys. No, four of them were boys, and all four of her boys got with women who already had children and raised those children. And even after the fact that they had broken up, those children are still a part of our family. 30 years later, those children are still part of our family. So like I said, I'm biased in that because that's, I've seen that my old, my whole entire life. So I can't say no, I'm going to tell him no, because she got a baby. But I, that's just me. Okay. Melanated Judge, thank you for waiting patiently, ma'am. The floor is yours. Uh, uh, before you before you speak on whatever you want to speak on, I would like you to address what I said first. Uh, let me reiterate what you said. Yeah, yeah. I've been so, on yeah, here. So, I, mean, I mean, I don't know. Do you have children? I do. And my oh, daughter is actually the biological child of my youngest brother. And I adopted her as an infant when the mother abandoned her at the hospital. My brother was not in a position to be a dad, but my mother had passed away. And as the oldest daughter, there would be no seed from my family that would go into uh, foster care or anything like that. Because my mother took care of at least one of her 14 sisters at least one of her children, uh, every one of her sisters, she has raised at least one child who went astray or, you know, had some issue. So from, from a, I'm going to give you from, I'm, I'm old enough to be your grandmother. Let, 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 me, let me be real, real quick with this because I'm 61. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about, I'm also a, uh, a prior judge in the family court. I'm also a product of the 60s and the 70s where the system was made for black people not to be with their significant other or the woman could not get childcare and they wouldn't give a man enough money to stay at home to take care of his own kids. So where you had social workers coming into a people's house to see if a man's drawers was in the, in the, in the drawer or shoes was in the closet or, uh, uh, you know, actually question children to see if they know who their daddy is because they know who their daddy is then they can run after somebody and make them have to pay back the government for money that you gave them, but you didn't give them a job so he could take care of his own wife and have a family and be a whole family. So what you're talking about as a youngin, and I, I assume you are youngin, because what you're talking about is like some oblivious world of this new order that you don't understand how it was built right up out of, I, I come right up out of your Jim Crow years in 1961 when I was born. All right, so we was, we was just about the vote. We was just about people. We just turned into people about then. So we had just legally even got freaking married, all right, for, for lack of a, a better way. So what you're saying, I, I say, in, and I'm assuming you're probably in your 30s or something. I'm 26. Because what you're saying is like, I'm yeah, that, I, I knew you had to be a Turin. Now, I knew you had to be a Turin because my daughter's, tw my, my daughter's 24. And, and when I say I knew you had to be a Turin, because that's some Turin thought. Because we, you know, queens at a certain age, we understand that, you know, parenting ain't meaning it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't necessarily come out the womb. Um, it ain't even have to come out your bloodline. If you came into a life of, uh, of a black woman and you and the woman are in love, whatever came with her or whatever came with you, you both got to deal with what you got. Can we put those two things together and can it work? It don't matter whether you bore that child or not, because for me, I was, before my husband passed away, I was married 15 years. I couldn't even, I could not have children. I could not have children. So when the, when, and I, and I can tell you, I did some all kinds of praying. Me and King James don't get along at all, but I did some all kinds of praying to God for, for a child. And when my brother, my youngest brother came into this situation, man, I was off in Paris doing my own thing. At already, I'm 38 years old. Uh, I had already had come to the, the position, all right, God, this ain't, you ain't gave me this opportunity to have a child. But when I was doing my praying, God didn't say it was going to come, you know, in no Tiffany box, all perfect, you know, with the bow on top. Sometimes you will get that baby in the man in, in the mud freaking uh, garbage bag with the umbilical cord still stuck to it. The question is, I gave you what you asked for. Will you still take care of it? 
See, the thing is, is we 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 got this mind where you, we think that everything is going to come perfectly because we have been brainwashed in a place where nothing for us is ever perfect. We've had to do so many kind of come, you know you know, uh, conforming to situations, whether it be parenting, whether it be how we have relationships. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still confused with people who don't want to say that they're male or female. They just want to say, you know, I don't want to be uh, uh, in, in a box. My thing is, everybody is somebody. We have fought to be somebody for so long. And now we're at a place where people don't want to be called nobody. I don't, I, 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 this, this thing with parenting, parenting has to do with, and I, as a, a, let me, let me tell you this as a, as a lawyer and as a judge, the problem with some of the women that you have talked about is we're coming, if, if you got a broken woman, blame it on the woman. Don't blame it on the child because there are w women who, who cannot, you know, keep a man for whatever reason, whatever her brokenness is. I am not one of them. I was not one of those judges who automatically gave custody to a woman just because she's a woman. If she, if I find that she's kind of a little loose in in the head, and the father is a better uh, a better choice, I would give custody to a father. See, people don't know, and I don't know what state you're. I'm in New Jersey. If you have a child out of wedlock, nobody has custody until you go to court, unless some some legal thing come up. L literally, if you have a child out of wedlock, it's a ward of the state, and at any point. If social services come in, they can snatch your kid. You have to actually go to court and, and say that you are the, the primary parent, that you're taking care of that parent. Um, if you know who the father is, it's not like back in the day where they're going to hunt him down. But if they're, if, if they're asking for child support, that all of those things are, are vastly different conversations. If you fall in, uh, if you are in a relationship with a woman and she has a child, the woman and the child is, is, are, 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 are one. If I come in a relationship with a man and, and he has children by a prior relationship, I can't say, you all right, so don't ask me to do nothing for your, your kid. I my money ain't going. Look, if you come in with a person that has a child if, and, 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 you're, and you already have in your mind, you're, you're not, you, you don't want to take care of someone else's seed. You want to have your own seed. Suppose you marry a woman like me, like my, I didn't know that I couldn't have children. When I, hell, I always, since I was 29 years old, I always said I didn't want to have children. Then I, I find a man that I love, get married, and find out I couldn't have children. We had seven in vitros. And then I, you know, I, I got a child by my blood, by, by the, what a woman realized she couldn't do. I'm like, damn it, I'm going to. It's my blood. But even if, I had a child, you know, even if I came to a man with a child, you, you, we're, we're, we, we are not as, 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 as people of color, we really are not in a position to want to throw away uh, seeds, even if it's not yours, because we are already has so many cracks in this, in this, in this vase of life that we have living as African American. We right now, are in the middle of people not even wanting to, to admit we even existed here from the beginning of time. And when I say beginning of time, being of time of this place that we call before it was in America, before you had 50 states, before you, you had a Republican, a Democratic Party, before you had anything, we were here. We were here from the motherfucking beginning before they even got here. So, and, and now we're in such a uh, um, quadmire of, of head fuck that we have allowed them to do and now we perpetuate it within our own community and within our own conversations and I just say to you young brother whatever you decide to do if you if you want your if you fall in love with a woman and she she has another child or if you even meet a woman and she has a, a, a child don't even pursue her for any feelings to even get out get twisted that way nobody can even come to this place where Oh, you know, I, you know, I can't do this because you got a kid by somebody else. Um, the father may or may not be in the scene. If he's if he's a raggedy ass dude, um, then you got to know, are you sticking by her in her situation? Just like, you know, it might not be about children, maybe about your 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 economics, your education. You know, maybe 
you know, for me, I have an issue. My daughter is grown. My daughter's a rocket scientist, for the, the, uh, and I'm talking facts. Uh, but with with a child like that and the education I have, I always have to deal with men who think that, I, oh, you know, don't judge me. Don't. I'm like, man, I, I all I did is ask a question. They, they, they already, you know, have thrown expressions because of my education. So we got too many different issues. You know, when it comes to family, we, we need to keep making babies. I'm telling you right now. We don't we don't work too hard to be in this country to now we don't want to make no baby, make babies that you're going to take care of. And if you if you come into a family with a child and you committed to her and she's committed to you, it can't be half assed. She's got to be committed to you just as much as you committed to her. Don't give you don't give what is not given back. Um, and it should be a really serious conversation. Anytime children are involved because breakups, I have a best friend who has four children, five children. Only one is his biological, biological child. He married a woman with four children when he got married at 38. He has one biological child. The wife left him. All the kids stayed with him. All, all of her kids stayed with him. And he, he is the best grandfather. He loves all of these children equally. And his own child is bipolar. Not something that you could ever thought of. The children that he had with the, the children that came with the, with the wife, you know, professionals, this, that, and the other. It's his, his own child that has the issue. But, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, all of those other four brothers and sisters, although he's not biologically their father, their father didn't do much. They are down with their little sister. They help their father. So I, I'm, I'm coming from an older maybe perspective. I don't want to tell you, you know, what you should do. But I do think don't, you know, take every situation as it is and, and actually think it through. Be it not just about the child, but the woman. Is she worth it? Don't blame it on the child. Because it, like most of the time is she's not the one that's worth not worth it. It's not not the child's fault. So that that's I don't want to stay on too long. But I'm uh, and listening to it, I was kind of confused and a little bit, and then kind of hurt as a black woman, because uh, as a, as a 61 year old, I've had I've seen too many cases. I've I've I've, I've, I've stood over too many cases as a judge, as this society we are in has shattered uh, our outlook of what we call family, especially in the, in the black community on, and in people of color, period, but specifically as descendants of the only people in this country that are not immigrants. Um, we, are, we are all over the place right now when it, when it comes to family. I'm gonna let somebody else talk because I'm a talker, so I don't wanna stay on a lot. Yeah, I, I want before before I let uh before I let Joe speak, I, I listen, I heard I hear everything you said and I agree with a lot um that you just said, but I, I do wanna as a young man, um that I have relationships with women that are my age, I have relationships with um women that are in their thirties, women that are in their forties, um, women that have kids, women that are single mothers. Um I have like I have women in my life that have kids. Um, you know, one of them, one of them got three kids by three different men. Um, another one, she's a divorcee. She had both of her both of her daughters by the same man. But my point is that I know women that have children, and when it comes to dating, and they're not with their child's father or their or their baby daddies, when it comes to dating, they don't want to they don't want to deal with other men that have children. They only want to deal with childless men. So when I hear women say, well, you know, child people that are childless and don't want to deal with, you know, people that have children shouldn't be pursuing them. It's True. not that like childless others. I'm not going to say that there's no childless people that aren't pursuing women or men that have children. But what I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of men and women that have children that don't want to deal with other men or women that have children. And when I ask, when I ask, well, me, woman, I'm like, why do you not want to deal, deal with a man that has children? They're like, I don't want to do the, I don't want to do the blended family thing. I don't want to be a stepmother to nobody else's kids. And I'm like, so you want a childless man to be 
a stepfather for your kids. You want him to take care of your kids, but you don't want to do the same for him and his child or him and his kids. So I, I don't, I don't think. Well, let me get, right. let me, let me, let me, let me say this. Um, if I were your mo mother, um, and I'm old enough to be your mother, I'm old enough to be your grandmother, um, and you were dating a girl with three children, I would be that grandmother that to, to tell you that that would not be a good uh, um, choice for you if you don't have any kids. And I, I'm going to tell you why. She is broken. I, I'm just going to be I'm just going to be honest with you. Children are not mistakes. All right. If you out there having sex unprotected and you're not doing birth control, children are not a mistake. Sex is for procreation. We use it as a recreational thing because it feels good. But sex is for procreation. So if you lay down with a woman, you are, if she don't get pregnant, you lucky because the whole purpose of the intercourse is for the procreation of a baby. Now, if a woman continues to have unprotected sex without um, taking in consideration the possibility of pregnancy, one time, all right, I might give you a pass, right? But right. it wouldn't be my kid wouldn't get no pass because I ain't raised her for no mother freaking passes. We don't we don't live in life with passes, so that 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 wouldn't be a child that I raised. But I'm I'm just telling you somebody else's kid because my mother right. had five kids and three different daddies and five kids, so I ain't coming I ain't coming with no sterling uh background. But I learned from my mama right. what I would not take in my life. Right. So right. what I'm saying is is that you got to deal with three different men. Three different sets of grandmamas, see three different cousin sets, three different auntie sets. That's just too much motherfucking drama right there. As a judge, I have had to ask women who give who have three baby daddies, and you go name all of your children a different last name. They all go to the same school. People don't even know their sisters and brothers. Their aunties, their grandmamas, their cousins are all different throughout a school. It's a madhouse. And that is some fucked up shit that some women just gotta come on and 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 grasp hold to. That maybe uh, get your kids up out of out of school and get them to an age where they are um, you are no longer in procreation uh, age, or decide that if he's coming with a kid and you got a kid, that between you two, y'all ain't gonna have no more kids because it's just too much. If you're gonna love all her kids, you got to deal with three different men. Why even put yourself through that? Because you you gonna know one of them gonna be raggedy ass raggedy. One of them gonna ain't going to do nothing at all. Um, and then the other one may still be in love with her and you got to figure out, you know, whether she's still, you know, creeping or not. That's too much. That's absolutely too much uh, to put your mind into. So I would be that woman. If, if, if a girl has a kid, um, you know, if she's, at, if she's still pursuing education, if she's still pursuing some structure in her life, she understands the circumstances that she was in and not, uh, desiring to do the same thing again, then I, I I don't say to penalize her because that could be you. There, there's a whole lot of men who run around looking like they don't have nothing, but they don't drop seeds and left and the girl don't, ain't even told you you got a baby somewhere. So I'm, I'm not going to be that strict, but where you, you know that there's three baby daddies that's going on, you best believe you might be number four. She's probably... Now, I, and I don't want to, you know, I'm just going to tell you my experiences. She's probably not working, getting a check for each one of them. And God forbid any of them have any um, uh, disabilities. You're going to get social security. It's, it, it's a whole lot of shit that, and it's just not black people. So let's, let's, let's get this straight because in, in, uh, there's many, many more white people on welfare than there are black people. And, and a specific group that I will not name because they probably shut our damn page on. But we, we take on all of America's evils as if we started the shit. No, that's the way it, it, the foundation was built for us and not to be a family, not to even speak each other's language or, uh, or know each other's faith or even be able to communicate. They used to, you know, put shit in our mouth. So because the, the, the very voice of a black woman, they felt some kind of, you know, that, that they was going to be cast a spell on it. So, you know, your ass got burnt at the stake or you got your tongue cut out your mouth. We are we were born into evil and into a uh, a mindset that we are not deserving of being families. We're not deserving of love. We're not attractive. We're we're some kind of beast of, of of some unknown planet. But yet everybody wants to be us. 
everybody imitates us and everybody uses us for everything that we've got to build a country on the backs of and steps on and, and uh, you know, is able to now be in place. I'm looking at Kevin McCarthy, one damn generation out of freaking American. And, and, you know, one generation of being American. So I, 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 I just say, be, be honest with yourself. There ain't no pussy in the world is going to make you love somebody else's kids. So uh, you, you got to know which one you want. If you don't want to be a man uh, and take care of another man's kids and all of the bullshit that's going to come with it, swipe left. I, I don't care if she got you floating in the air. Swipe left. That ain't that ain't gonna be good for your mind. And and damn sure, damn her, her kids. Each time she does that, are hoping that th this one will be the one because those kids really. I don't know a kid that don't want a daddy. I don't want. I don't know a kid that don't want a daddy. And every time she bring a man in the house, each of those kids, if their daddy ain't there, hoping maybe this one will be my daddy. That's that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs>